Hello and a very warm welcome to our Cell and Gene Therapy Insights webinar on applying an HPLC analytical platform for mRNA process monitoring. I'm Elisa Manzotti, founder of BioInsights, and joining me today is Dr. Nate Paulian from BIA Separations, part of Sartorius, who will discuss how to monitor key components of an in vitro transcription reaction, including nucleotides, linear plasmid, capping reagents, and mRNA. So following our presentation today, we will have time for a Q&A discussion. And as always, do feel free to ask a question at any time throughout the event. Just use the ask a question box and we'll try to get to it during the session. And for any questions that we're not able to get to, we will obviously pass these on to our speaker and they will respond to you directly after the webinar. And just before we get started, I'd like to draw your attention to the resources tab where you can find links and documents to get further information on the topics that will be discussed today. And so now I'd like to introduce you to our speaker, who is a project manager in Process Analytics Development Department at BIA Separations, a Sartorius company. He has extensive experience in analytics development of different biological molecules such as pDNA, mRNA, AAV, all widely used in modern therapeutics. He manages several projects for various biotech clients, mainly in the field of new generation gene therapy products. Well, thank you very much for joining me today, Newt. And I'll just hand over to you now for our presentation today. First, uh, thank you, Elisa, for a uh, really nice uh, introduction. Hello, everyone. Um, my today's webinar will be about HPLC analytical platforms, specially designed for monitoring all the steps in mRNA production process, from plasmid to mRNA formulation. So I suggest that we start with today's webinar. Before I begin with uh, today's webinar, I would like to present BS separation products. The product portfolio is comprised of three different categories, preparative devices, analytical devices, and process development services. The preparative products are used in the purification of the target biomolecules and can be scaled up. The trade name for this product family is Simultus and they are available from 1 ml to 40 liter volumes in a large range of chemistries. The analytical devices, which are also part of the portfolio, are small columns used to analyze the result obtained of the preparative devices. They are available in bed volumes of 100 microliters and optimize for getting the best resolution. Such small precise columns require specialized chromatographic systems, for example, Patrix HPLC, and we are offering one specially designed for these products since June 2021. We are also offer uh, process development services with more personal approach to problems of our customers. The main focus of today's webinar will be two analytical platforms designed here at BS Operation for monitoring mRNA production process. The first platform is a Patfix pDNA platform used for pDNA production and purification. In today's talk, I will go through uh, what this platform includes and how can we use it in our benefit. I will present the main analytical method of this platform and I'll also go through two case studies in which pDNA platform was used. In the second part of the webinar, I will talk about Patfix mRNA platform uh, designed for mRNA production process monitoring. We will go through what this uh, mRNA platform includes and how can we use it in our benefit. I will present the three main analytical methods uh, of this mRNA platform, and we also go through the advantages of analytical process control 
in case of mRNA production process. So first thing, our PATFIX HPLC system. Both our analytical platforms, PDNA platform and mRNA platform are based on our PATFIX HPLC system. HPLC system has four main components, hardware, columns, methods, and software. In the next few slides, I will give you more detailed description of each of these components. First, uh, I will go through our main uh, hardware, com uh, hardware components of our uh, HPLC uh, system. Uh, our system, HPLC system, is equipped with a ceramic pump, which enables us to use uh, flow rates up to 10 milliliters per minute. It's also compatible, compatible with uh, sodium hydroxide and allows us to use up to four molar uh, salt solutions. It is equipped with a multi-wavelength uh, UV detector, which enables us uh, to record, re record uh, four uh, different wavelengths uh, at the same time. It also has an auto sampler uh, with 100NA uh, slots uh, for sample vials, and uh, we can control the temperature from 4 to 40 degrees Celsius. It is also equipped with uh, conductivity and pH meter, which uh, really allows us to have control over our analytical methods and uh, composition of our buffers. Our PathFix analytical platforms comes with pre-developed analytical methods, specially optimized for PathFix platform. The methods are also validated, which ensure us accurate and reproducible analytical results. We also developed uh, PDNA and mRNA chromatographic standard for the purpose of the quantification of these biomolecules. The platform also comes with pre-selected analytical columns. Uh, our analytical columns are application specific. For example, for PDNA analytics, we use CMAC PDNA column. And for example, for IVT monitoring, uh, for mRNA production, we use PrimaS column. The columns also comes with different channel sizes, which enable us to analyze the biomolecules of different sizes, and also enables cleaning in place that we can assure that there is no carryover of our analyte. The last, uh, the fourth component of our PathFix analytical platform is our software. The software was developed here at BS Separation for the purposes of analytical platform. It enables us visualization of chromatograms and integration of analytical results. It also has built-in user guides for experimental setup and execution. Another very important feature of our uh, uh, software is analytical report generation. This Analytical reports can also be exported from the software. At the end, I want to emphasize that we provide installation, qualification, training and service for all PathFix HPLC main components. As I already said before, our two analytical platforms was designed and developed for complete control over mRNA production mRNA production is in general divided in two major processes. First is production and purification of linear plasmid DNA. And the second step is production and purification of messenger RNA from linear plasmid DNA. It's very important that all these steps in production of plasmid DNA and messenger RNA is controlled. Here, our platforms can play a crucial role because with our platforms we can 
really control every step of plasmid and mRNA production. Let me now describe PadFix HPLC PDNA platform a little more in details. Our PadFix PDNA platform is based on the CMAC PDNA analytical column with no carryover and is specially designed and engineered for separation of PDNA isoforms and multimers. It also includes a PDNA standard with open circular and super coiled isoform of PDNA. It has built in and validated methods and SOPs for seamless analytics and reliable and user-friendly data management software for processing and visualization of chromatograms. It has also user guides for experimental setup and execution. For the purposes of PDNA platform, we produce a PDNA chromatography standard PFIX5 it enables qualitative and quantitative in process control of PDNA production. It contains both isoforms, uh, PD, uh, open circular uh, isoform and supercoil isoform of PDNA, and has a linear response in wide concentration range. It is available in liquid form as a product, so everyone can buy it. Now I want to go through two uh, case studies to show you how our PDNA platform can be used. The first case study will talk about plasmid purification control using PDNA analytical platform. So here on the left side, a typical uh, PDNA purification process is presented. It is composed of E. coli cell harvest, alkalinizes, uh, chromatographic step using Simultus DIE column, buffer exchange, and Simultus C4 HLD column. In, in process samples are collecta, co collected uh, during PDNA purification, and the samples will then analyze using PadFix HPLC system equipped with analytical CMAC PDNA uh, column and built-in PDNA analytical method. Here on the right side, uh, the chromatogram of neutralized alkaline lysate is represented. We can see that it contains, the, our sample contains uh, quite a lot of contaminants shown here in a flow through of the chromatogram and also in the middle part of the chromatogram where RNA is eluted. With that chromatogram, with that analysis, we can gain first information about plasmid growth in bacteria. Uh, we, can have, we can get uh, information about uh, PDNA, so what is the OC and SC ratio, what is the concentration of PDNA in our cell harvest, and we gain also information about contaminants in the sample. In the next step, uh, alkaline, neutralized alkaline lysate goes through uh, first chromatographic purification step using our Simultus DIE column. Also here the sample was collected, uh, the sample of uh, main DIE elution uh, is collected and also analyzed using our PDNA platform and here on the right side is a chromatogram of that sample. As we can see, we get uh, rid of almost all RNA, uh, which was present in the alkaline lysate, but we still have some contaminants in the flow through of this chromatogram. So we need to apply additional uh, chromatographic step using simul to C4 ALD column. In the Simultus C4 HLD uh, chromatographic uh, purification step, uh, we get rid uh, of almost all contaminants that were at the beginning uh, present in the neutralized alkaline lysate. So we, we have very low flow through and no RNA is present. 
in that analyze, we also concentrate our uh, product, our uh, target product, target molecule of uh, pDNA in that chromatographic step. So uh, this is one uh, typical uh, example how our pDNA platform can be used for monitoring of uh, pDNA purification process. It really enables us to uh, to have a control of uh, our target uh, molecule, pDNA, and also enables us to monitor the removal of the contaminants uh, uh, present in the sample. Now I want to show you the second example, how our uh, pDNA analytical platform can be used for plasmid linearization control. For that purpose, uh, we perform a typical linearization uh, reaction using restrictive uh, uh, enzymes to uh, digest uh, open circular and super coil use a form of pDNA to get uh, linearized pDNA. During the reaction, the samples were sampled at different uh, times of the reaction and our pDNA uh, analytical platform was used to analyze these samples. As we can see at the beginning of the reaction, there is there is present the, there are present uh, only open circular and supercoil is a form of uh, pDNA. And uh, during the reaction, the linear is a form is starting to form, and the concentration on open circular and supercoil is a form is lowered. If we integrate uh, these results, we can draw a graph uh, representing uh, kinetics of the plasmid linearization reaction. Uh, here on this graph is very nice to see how the, uh, the concentration of linear isoform of pDNA is start to increase during the time and how the concentration of open circular and supercoil isoform is lower during the reaction. The results of uh, this HPLC analytics was also confirmed by agarose gel electrophoresis analysis and from this result we can see that the, after the 30 minutes of the reaction the result of, there is a, only linear is a form present in the sample and this is the same result we get with the our HPLC platform. So Patfix pDNA platform enables us to study kinetics of pDNA linearization reaction and also give us information of remaining open circle and supercoil isoform in the sample and also the information about possible other contaminants in the sample. So these were uh, two examples how our uh, pDNA platform, analytical platform can be used. Uh, now I want to proceed to our next uh, analytical platform called Patfix HPLC mRNA platform, uh, which was designed for uh, process control of mRNA production. Patfix HPLC mRNA platform is uh, new product from BS operation and will be launched next month. Uh, in comparison uh, to pDNA platform where only one analytical method and one analytical column was used, uh, here the situation is a little more uh, difficult, a little more uh, complicated. For the purposes of this uh, platform, uh, three different column chemistries uh, and three different uh, analytical methods were used to really have a complete uh, control over the uh, production of mRNA. For uh, first column and first analytics we use is for IVT reaction monitoring. Here we use uh, CMAC Prima S analytical column. For uh, quantification and integrity tests of uh, mRNA, we use uh, Oligo DT analytical column. 
And the third column uh, used in this uh, platform is uh, CIMIC, CIMAC uh, SDVB analytical column. Uh, this column is employed uh, for studying uh, mRNA integrity, uh, stability, uh, size, uh, truncated mRNA, double strand mRNA. Also, uh, this uh, with this platform. Uh, also, uh, for this platform, we also developed a new mRNA standard uh, for chromatographic uh, purposes. I will talk about this standard in uh, the next slide. Uh, this uh, platform also includes uh, built-in and validated analytical methods. So you, there is no need to develop uh, new analytical methods. Uh, for that uh, uh, platform. And we also have a software for uh, data evaluation and reports. As I already say, uh, for the purposes of uh, mRNA analytical platform, we developed a new mRNA uh, standard. We call it MFIX-4 and is uh, produced here at the BS separation for chromatographic uh, purposes. It has a random sequence and is completely IP-free, uh, mRNA. It enables us uh, qualitative and quantitative uh, in-process control of uh, mRNA uh, production, and it's around four kilobase uh, long mRNA. It has a uh, linear response in wide concentration uh, range and you can order it from our website in a liquid form. Now I want to go through the three analytics which are uh, incorporated in our uh, mRNA analytical platform. First I will start with uh, CMAC Prima S analytical method. Uh, which is designed and uh, developed for IVT reaction monitoring. In mRNA uh, analytical platform, IVT reaction is uh, controlled and monitored using our CMAC PrimaS analytical column. PrimaS column has a multimodal chromatography ligand that uh, combines elements of uh, hydrogen bonding with anion exchange chromatography. PrimaS column is able to separate IVT <coughs> reaction components uh, such as uh, mRNA, nucleotides, uh, plasmid, linear plasmid DNA, and capping reagent in a single rapid assay. On the picture below, uh, there is a presentation of typical IVT reaction chromatogram using uh, PrimaS uh, column. We can divide this chromatogram in uh, three different regions. In the first region, ARCA, uh, capping region, uh, and all the nucleotides are eluted. We can see that uh, CTP and UTP nucleotide are eluted in the same uh, chromatographic uh, peak. <clears throat> in that platform, we develop a method taking in advantage uh, the different uh, absorbances behavior of these two uh, nucleotides. So we are able to quantify them also if they are eluted in the same chromatographic peak. In the second region, of the chromatogram, uh, linear plasmid DNA is eluted, and in the third region of the chromatogram, mRNA is eluted from the PrimaS column. Using this method, we can uh, have analytical result in very short time, in only three minutes, and this enables us to monitor the IVT reaction in line in the real time, and this enables optimization of different IVT reaction parameters. It's also very important that using this uh, method, uh, PrimaS method, 
uh, there is no carryover, so all the components of IVT reaction can be uh, determined or uh, quantified very exactly. As I already say, uh, PrimaS column and its features are ideal for ATLAN monitoring of mRNA production. With it, we can monitor IVT reaction kinetics and also increasing concentration of mRNA during the IVT reaction. It is also enables simultaneous monitoring of concentration of uh, individual nucleotides in IVT reaction mixture. Uh, here on these two uh, graphs uh, is presented a good, uh, are presented a good examples of controlling and understanding the IVT reaction for production of mRNA. For the purpose of this case study, we prepare two different IVT uh, mixtures. In IVT mixture 1, all nucleotides are present in the same concentration, and in IVT 2, we deliberately reduce the amount of uh, uh, GTP. We started the IVT reaction and uh, samples of individual IVT was sampled at different uh, times of uh, IVT reaction. We analyzed these samples on uh, PrimaS uh, column <clears throat> and the plots of reaction kinetics are presented on these two graphs. On the first graph, where all NTPs are present in the same uh, concentration, we can see that all uh, NTPs are uh, consumed in a very similar uh, rate. mRNA concentration follows the reverse trend of uh, nucleotides and, uh, and at the end we produced around uh, 4 milligrams of mRNA per milliliter of reaction mixture, of course. In the case of IVT reaction uh, 2, where, we were, uh, where there was a, a lower amount of uh, GTP, we can see that in the beginning of the reaction, the production of uh, mRNA is uh, very similar to IVT1 reaction, uh, but after around uh, 30 minutes, uh, the production of mRNA has stopped because we run out of GTP. In that case, we get only around uh, 2 milligrams of mRNA per milliliter of uh, reaction mixture, which is around two times lower than in case, which is also uh, logical because we put uh, half of uh, concentration of GTP inside of the reaction mixture. <clears throat> When we know uh, all the parameters at any time of the IVT reaction and really understand the kinetics of it, we can optimize IVT reaction to get the result we want. Now I will proceed to the second part of our analytical uh, platform. Uh, and this is a semi-colic uh, column with a suitable analytical method. This column is used for very precise quantification of mRNA through the whole production process. Oligo-DT is a affinity column where oligodeoxytimine is covalently bounded to a solid monolith interface. It works in the way that hybridizes to polyadenylated tail, which is uh, present uh, on most eukaryotic mRNAs. In that way, it enables to separate and quantify mRNA with uh, poly-A tail from other IVT reaction components in a single rapid assay. Usually, the sample is loaded on the column using 
500 millimorem sodium chloride and then elute it in the decreasing ionic strength of a Lucian buffer. On the picture below is a presentation of typical oligodetic chromatogram of IVT reaction mixture. As we can see from the chromatogram, only mRNA with polyether is bounded on the column and then eluted in decreasing ionic strength of elution buffer. All the other components of IVT reaction, such as nucleotides, uh, capping reagents, uh, linear plasmid DNA, and uh, enzymes, are eluted in the flow through of the method. We can get analysis result in very short time, in only two minutes, and also there is no carryover using that column and that analytical method. Specificity of uh, oligodytic column uh, for the species with uh, poly A tail makes it a perfect candidate uh, to be used as a powerful tool for quantification of mRNA throughout the whole production, uh, mRNA production process. Uh, this column can also be used uh, for control the integrity of uh, mRNA molecule in terms of uh, poly -A tail uh, presence because uh, only mRNA with uh, poly -A tail present at the end of the molecule will be bind on the oligo DT analytical column. The third and the last part of our uh, mRNA uh, analytical platform is uh, our CIMAC SDVB uh, column uh, and uh, analytical method specially designed for controlling the quality parameters of our final mRNA uh, product. Uh, with that column, we can uh, determine and, to, and control mRNA size we can detect uh, double-stranded mRNA and truncated mRNA uh, present in our sample. We can control and uh, assess uh, the stability of mRNA and, all, and detect all the possible contaminants in our sample. SDVB uh, or styrene divinyl benzene column is a reverse phase analytical column used for quality parameters uh, control of uh, final mRNA uh, sample. It is used with uh, ion pairing uh, reagents to achieve binding of negatively charged mRNA molecule on the column. On the picture below, uh, a typical um, chromatogram of mRNA sample is presented. To achieve binding of mRNA on the column, we use a tetraethyl amino acetate ion pairing reagent. We can see that mRNA is eluted from the uh, column in increasing acetonitrile gradient in one sharp uh, chromatographic peak. The method is uh, very short uh, in, in terms of time in comparison with uh, other uh, SDVB column providers. Uh, with our column, it takes only 10 minutes to get a precise analytical result. The column also um, don't have any carryover, uh, which enables us to have very precise analytical results using that column. One of the special properties of uh, CDVB column used with uh, ion pairing reagent is that it's capable of uh, separating different mRNAs by size. In the chromatogram below, uh, we can see separation of uh, riboruler high range uh, RNA ladder from 200 base long mRNA to 6000 base long mRNA. Best resolution between chromatographic peaks is achieved by uh, smaller RNA molecules from 200 to 1050 base, 
base long uh, mRNA with increasing size of uh, mRNA molecules, the resolution between uh, chromatographic peaks is uh, lowered, but uh, we can still uh, distinguish between different size mRNA molecules. This feature of SDVB uh, column uh, can be used to detect truncated mRNA and also to assess the stability of mRNA molecule. Here uh, is uh, one good example how we can use this uh, feature of CWB uh, column uh, that is capable of separating mRNA molecules by size to study the degradation process of mRNA sample. Here are uh, two chromatograms obtained uh, by using uh, CDVB analytical column and analytical uh, method uh, developed for this column. And we try to study the degradation process of uh, mRNA molecule if we expose the molecule to one more molar sodium hydroxide. In the upper part, unexposed mRNA uh, sample was recorded and we can see that uh, mRNA is eluted in one sharp uh, chromatographic peak. Then when mRNA is exposed to one molar sodium hydroxide, we can see that uh, mRNA is eluted in quite broad uh, chromatographic uh, peak which indicates that this sample contains a lot of different size mRNA. <clears throat> this result is also confirmed by agarosigel analysis. Uh, we can see that the, the band for when mRNA was exposed to sodium hydroxide is, uh, has a, a lot of uh, different size of mRNA in it. Uh, meanwhile, the mRNA, which was not exposed, it uh, has only one quite nicely expressed band. Another very nice property of CDVB uh, column is that this column is able to separate between single-strand mRNA and double-strand mRNA molecules. On the chromatogram below, we can see a sample of uh, mRNA, which was recorded using CDVB analytical column with a pre-developed CDVB analytical method. From chromatographic analysis, we can see that the mRNA sample contain quite a few uh, different uh, species beside the main uh, mRNA peak. We have some species also in a flow, flow through of the chromatogram in front of the main mRNA peak and after the main mRNA peak in that uh, tail. Fraction of flow through uh, the front, the main mRNA peak and the tail of mRNA peak was uh, analyzed using a dot blot analysis. From dot blot analysis, we can see that the only positive result of uh, dot blot was uh, obtained for the tail of the main RNA peak. This result shows that CDVB column is capable to separating double strand mRNA from single strand mRNA. At the end, uh, let me conclude uh, today's uh, webinar uh, and to emphasize the, the main advantages using our two uh, analytical platforms for uh, monitoring mRNA production process. So, uh, which are the key benefits using our PathFix analytical platforms? We can analyze various biomolecules such as pDNA and mRNA. Uh, the platform can be used for process monitoring or release of product and control of the product. 
They have uh, rapid uh, chromatographic analytical methods, in most cases shorter than uh, 10 minutes. Uh, HPLC analytics do not require expensive uh, reagents. And with the platforms, we offer broad diversity of column chemistries, such as uh, CMAC PDNA column, Prima S column, Oligodity column, and SDVB column, which can be used for different other purposes. Another very important advantage of using our uh, PDNA and mRNA analytical platforms are that there is no need to search for the right uh, HPLC hardware and there is also no need for selecting of suitable columns because we already incorporate the right columns for your analytics in that uh, two platforms. There is also no uh, need to develop an, an internal standard for uh, chromatographic quantification of your target molecules. The methods in our uh, analytical platforms are already developed and optimized uh, to get uh, to ensure uh, the best analytical results and the methods are also validated. All these uh, things which uh, makes uh, chromatographic analytics uh, quite difficult is already optimized uh, by us at BS Operation using our knowledge of analytical method developments and our knowledge about analytical columns. At this point, I would like to thank you for your kind attention and I'll give the word to Elisa to continue with uh, question and answers. Thank you very much indeed for a great uh, presentation there. And uh, time now for our Q&A. So just looking, we've had lots of questions coming in from the audience already, so I'll get going on those. Uh, the first one is, what's the, oh, just a check, sorry, if you can just turn down the volume on your computer, I'm getting a little bit of an echo. Yeah, I, I, I already did. It's, it's better? Yes, that's much better, thank you. Okay. Okay, first question. What is the maximum column temperature this HPLC system can hold and maintain? So with uh, our HPLC system, we use a uh, separate thermostat for uh, uh, column thermostation. So uh, our thermostat can do up to 85 uh, degrees Celsius with plus minus 1.0.1 uh, 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 Celsius. So, yeah, uh, to 85 degrees. Great. Thank you very much. And the next question that's come in, uh, what is your limited detection on the PDNA method you discussed earlier in your presentation? Okay. Uh, LOD uh, for PDNA method is around uh, 20 nanograms of uh, PDNA. Uh, PDNA. Uh, LOQ, uh, LOQ uh, around 50 nanograms. So it's in comparison with uh, nanodrop, it's a little bit higher, but uh, our method also allows to get information about contaminants, uh, OC and uh, SC is a form of plasmid and stuff like that. So a little bit higher than nanodrop, but we, we can uh, we can uh, get a lot more information about uh, when we use in PDNA platform and method, of course. Great. Thank you very much. And the next question that's come in from the audience, so can you see supercoiled PDNA in the method you described in slide 23? So I think in slide 23, they think, they, they think about, they think uh, Prima S method. Uh, so yes, uh, we can see also super cold uh, PDNA, but if it's present only super cold because we cannot achieve the separation of open circular is a form of PDNA and super cold is a form of PDNA on Prima method. So yeah, we can see it if it's present, but 
we cannot see the open circle supercoil. The separation between these two isoforms uh, we can see. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Uh, next question Do you support method development and testing for custom made mRNA and pDNA? Yeah, of course we support it, yeah. Because uh, we, if, if we have, uh, in, in, yeah, yeah, we support it. <laughs> That's the key thing. Great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then the next question that comes in. Can you share what mobile phase you're using for the pDNA and mRNA methods? Uh, yes, I, I, I can. Uh, for pDNA methods, uh, it's it's uh, uh, all, all, all the pDNA methods are on our uh, BIO website, so you can search it and download it. Uh, about mRNA methods, um, the the platform will come uh, soon, so. I think next month will be the release of that platform and all the buffer composition and stuff like that. Connected with that, uh, how to perform analytics, how to analyze the results of the samples and stuff like that will be known. So uh, I think it's good to wait for another month to yes. really reveal all the buffer composition and stuff like that. Yeah, watch this space. Okay, that's great. Thank you. And a uh, next question. For the oligo-DT column, can you separate mRNA with different poly A tail lengths? No, uh, we cannot do it. Do that. Uh, oligo-DT is only uh, sensitive or distinguished from, the more, from, M from mRNAs with poly A tail. So, it's not working the way that we can separate the different lengths of. Uh, but I think uh, at, at least 10 uh, adenylated, uh, uh, it must be at least 10 uh, adenylated long, uh, the tail of mRNA. 15. Great. 15, I think 15, yeah. 10 to okay. 15. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, and our next question, how many runs per column for the mRNA products can typically be performed before a new column needs to be purchased? Uh, quite, quite a lot. Uh, I think our customer support back to us, and also we discovered this here at the separation, that you can run for more than 1,000 runs. But yeah, of course, it, it depends on the... The, the contaminants in your samples, how your samples are performed, uh, pre-cleaned before the anal analysis, and stuff like that. But yeah, if you if you use a column in, as we instruct you, uh, at least thousand uh, injection, uh, at least thousand uh, injection. That's a, that's a good average. Thank you. Okay, and uh, another question that's come in. Are the agarose gels being used only to confirm the HPLC runs? Yes, we always uh, like to use uh, another orthogonal uh, method uh, because we can never just uh, trust only H2 HPLC analytics. So, yeah, and we also encourage our clients to perform also some orthogonal uh, methods to confirm their their results, uh, we cannot uh, depend only depend only on one uh, analytics. So yeah, we use Agarose gel to to confirm our HPLC runs. Great, thank you. And uh, next question: Are do you find any problems with larger plasmids, so higher than uh, ten kilobase pairs, regarding recovery in particular? Uh, yeah, uh, this is a uh, quite well-known uh, phenomena uh, of uh, plasma DNA, and yes, we are aware of this uh, problem. So, uh, especially problematic here is uh, retention of uh, open circular isoform, which is bigger in comparison to supercoil uh, isoform of uh, pDNA. Uh, the especially problematic are plasmids not over 10, but also over the 7 uh, kilobase pair. Um, so in, there, there, there are many uh, steps or procedures how to 
get rid of this uh, problem. One is for for sure that you can, for example, uh, lower the flow rate of your methods and get time to uh, isoforms to diffuse from the pores where they are catched. But we're working on different solution. Uh, we will introduce uh, very soon a PDNA uh, column, for example, with uh, bigger pores. And in that way, we get quite a good, uh, quite a good uh, recovery, also for big plasmid uh, open circle isoform and also for supercoil isoform. Great, thank you. And uh, just our last question then: Do you provide chromatographic solutions for analysis of encapsulated mRNA in terms of encapsulation efficiency, mRNA degradation inside the LNP particles? Yeah, of course, uh, this is quite a hot topic uh, these days. Uh, yeah, in short time, we plan to update uh, also this mRNA platform uh, for analysis of encapsulated mRNA, especially in terms of encapsulation efficiency. Uh, we already have a method, but will not be published with uh, the platform uh, yet uh, for uh, separation of encapsulated mRNA from liquid nanoparticles. Uh, for that, we use uh, hydrophobic interaction uh, chromatography. Uh, but yeah, we're still developing an, an analytical method in which we can um, uh, recognize the degradation uh, products of mRNA uh, formed, for example, inside of the lipid nanoparticles. But yeah. We're working on uh, that. Great. Quite a lot. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you. And uh, just a quick note from our audience member, Quinner, who had asked a question earlier regarding support on method development and testing of custom made mRNA and DNA. Um, just to sort of reiterate, your response there was that yes, you do provide uh, support when it comes to, to that. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah of course. Yeah, of course. Exactly. Always. Excellent. Okay, fantastic. Well, that uh, brings us to the end of our Q&A session. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to Nick for a fantastic presentation today. And thank you, as always, to our audience for your great questions. If there were any that we weren't able to get to in the session, as I mentioned, please rest assured we'll pass these on to Nate and the team, and they will reach out to you directly uh, with follow-up to your query. Very much. Uh, I, I would also like to thank everybody to be part of that uh, webinar and looking forward to some cooperation or something like that. Absolutely. Yes, I think we've had a lot of interest in this subject today, uh, as you can see from the questions that have come in. Um, and as a reminder to our audience that the on-demand video of this is available tomorrow, so look out for an email from us in your inbox and watch the session again. We'll pass that on to your colleagues. So just a big thank you again to Nate for a great presentation and a thank you to our audience. We hope to see you again next time. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.